Hello, this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2016 GMC Sierra 1500. This vehicle features a 5.3 liter V8 gasoline engine with four wheel drive. As we get closer here to the front of this crew pickup, you'll be able to see that it is a sleek onyx black clear coat with chrome and black accents as you'll be able to see there on the front grille as well as down around those tow hooks and fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather. And speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along here to the side of this vehicle and take a look at its tires and wheels. This vehicle features black 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels and as for the tire treads, you have got a good amount of life left in them. But I'll get to those exact measurements here in just a second. As this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. We'll now take a look here to the inside of this pickup. Here on the inside of this vehicle, you do have a lovely diesel gray cloth upholstery on these seats for a smooth and comfortable ride. And like I mentioned earlier, you do have those chroma black accents making their way up the dashboard. While we're looking over here, I'll just open up the glove box and bring up the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. And as you'll be able to see here on this inspection sheet, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 7 30 seconds in all of your tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 8 30 seconds in the front and 11 30 seconds in the rear. So you have a good ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. Right beside that multi-point inspection, you also have the Carfax Vehicle History Report. And you might notice there was some vandalism damage reported on it in the front left, which you have already seen. And I will be going over the entire vehicle up close later on in the video, so you can see everything in detail for yourself. We'll now continue on to take a look here at the rear occupant seating. As you'll be able to see back here, this vehicle can seat three people in the rear, and that middle seat up front does fold up to become an additional seat, so this pickup can seat a total of six people. Down on the floors, you do have all-weather floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean, and you do have pockets on the backs of both of those front seats. And over here on the door, all the doors do have several storage spaces in them, as well as powered windows. I'll just close that door and we'll continue right to take a look here at the rear of this pickup. And as we're making our way back, you'll be able to see you do have those corner steps to help you get up and into the bed with ease. Alright, as you'll be able to see here on the rear of this pickup, you do have a pre-installed tow bar with both a 7 and 4 pin connector for a trailer hitch hookup and a spare tire behind all of that if you're ever in a pinch. You also have a backup camera to help you whenever you're parking or going in reverse. And I'll just open up the tailgate. And as you'll be able to see back here, this crew pickup does have a bed that's about six and a half feet, so you've got plenty of space to haul some really nice loads back here. You also have a spray in bed liner to help protect the bed against any nicks or scratches the loads you put in here might give it. And you also have a soft to no cover up top. I will just close that tailgate back up and we'll continue around here to the driver's side. I would like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience and to help prevent you from ever getting locked out. One of these keys does come with remote start as well. This pickup does have powered mirrors, powered windows, and powered door locks. And as for the driver's seat, you do have six-way manual seating adjustments, so you can move the seat forwards backwards, tilting the seat forward and back, and then two-directional lumbar support. You also have a tilting steering wheel, meaning you can move it up and down to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering wheel is just your headlight controls, dashboard backlight controls, and then this pickup does come with an integrated trailer braking controller as well. I'll now just get inside this pickup and turn it on for you. This vehicle does use its key to start as opposed to a push to start. Now that the engine is running and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see that this vehicle has about 74,834 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel, as over here are your cruise controls, your tow haul mode switch and controls over here. And then up close on the dashboard, you can cycle through all the different information this vehicle provides to you up there. We'll now take a look here to the center of this vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle, you do have a lovely touchscreen, LCD display, and I'll just throw it in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. Underneath said display, you do have controls for it. A bit farther down are your climate controls, and those mirrors are heated, which will help to prevent them from fogging up as well as to help de-ice them in inclement weather. Underneath that, you have your bed light controls and your electronic stability control toggle, which just helps to prevent skidding and sliding. A fold-out small storage space, a power outlet here and an AC outlet underneath it. 
your four wheel drive shift down here, three cup holders, and then your main storage compartment behind all of that with another power outlet, two USB charging ports, and an aux cord in plug-in inside. And like you mentioned earlier, this does fold up to become that additional six seat. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. Here in the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, and we want the purchasing process to be transparent and straightforward. We want you to know what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this pickup, we do have a few discolorations there on that front passenger seat. But other than those, there is nothing else standing out to me. There are no odors or scents whatsoever. So we'll take a look here now to the outside of it. Again, we'll be looking a bit down for any of those imperfections, starting by coming along here to the front. And here along the front of the vehicle, we do have a few nicks and scuffs, most likely from stone chips. Stone chipping is extremely common. Almost every vehicle has some form of it. The only way you can really prevent it is just by not driving your vehicle. This pickup is also a darker color, so it does tend to hide a little more than a lighter color might. We'll come along here now to the passenger side. We nick on the bottom of that mirror. A faint, faint one there. A few scuffs on the passenger side of that bed. And we'll come along here now to the rear. Scuff there. And a few more here on that tailgate and near the top. Now often on pickups, what I do tend to see several imperfections is on the top of the tailgate as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And that is the case for this pickup. You do have a significant amount of scratching and nicks in that, as well as several discolorations there on the spray and bed liner and some scratching there where the paint is exposed. I'll just close that tailgate back up and we'll continue back around here to the driver's side. We did touch up a scuff there, but it is still there. Another scuff. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a black crew pickup, with the ability to seat six, a good amount of space in that six and a half foot bed, a to no cover, corner steps, a pre-installed tow bar, a spare tire, a backup camera, all weather floor mats, two keys, one with remote start, cloth upholstery, fog lights, tow hooks, heated mirrors, an integrated trailer braking controller, a spray in bed liner and four wheel drive. This is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this crew pickup and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.